Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hello friends, this is a 32 inch LED TV. In this TV, the complaint is no display. See friends, the backlights are working properly. It's a single cof panel with SM4186 DC to DC IC. Mainly, these types of complaints are due to internal shouting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The DC to DC IC goes to protection mode. It's a common fault. Due to this protection mode, this IC doesn't produce the basic panel voltages like VGH, AVDD, VGL voltages, etc. So, in some situations, the problem is with the DC to DC IC also. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to identify that the no display complaint is related with the DC to DC IC or due to the internal shouting in gate signals or not. Here, first we check the 12 volt input panel VCC. So the input panel VCC is present. Next, here you can see the V1 voltage. It is also called as the VGH voltage. See friends, the VGH voltage is missing. Then we can check the VGL voltage. See friends, the VGL voltage is also missing. To confirm now the complaint is with the DC to DC IC or not, we need to check the 3.3 voltage. See friends, the 3.3 voltage is present. This means that the DC to DC IC is working properly. Here the problem is with the gate signal shorting inside the glass panel. In this panel, the 3.3 voltage is okay. So it means that here the problem is with the gate signal and the DC to DC IC is working properly. So to remove the protection from the DC to DC IC, we need to remove the internal shorting in gate signals either from the left side or right side of the panel. If both sides of the panel gate signals are short, then it is not repairable. After all, this is just only a temporary solution. Here first I am going to cut down the right side gate signal tracks. So let us cut down the right side gate signal tracks first. See friends, now we cut down the right side gate signal tracks. Now let's turn on the TV and check the picture is correct or not. See friends, now the complaint remains same. So it means that the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks. So in this situation, we need to rejoin all the cutter tracks in the right side. See friends, finally, here we rejoined the cutter tracks from the right side see friends the right side gate signal tracks that we cut at earlier are rejoined now here we cut down the left side gate signal tracks see friends now the left side gate signal tracks are cut down now let us turn on the tv and check the picture See friends, now the TV is turned on.
see no the picture comes here the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks so after removing the internal shorting in gate signals by cutting down the gate signal tracks to the left side of the panel now we removed the protection from the sm4186 dc to dc ic so now at present condition the picture comes and the tv is working properly we cannot predict how long the tv will work using this method it's completely depends on lag basis if both sides of the gate signals are shorted then it is not repairable after all this is just only a temporary solution the permanent solution is the panel replacement so hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications so thanks for watching